How to model and rig a dihedral synchrohelix hinge in Blender 3D. Skip till the end if you want to download the file. I start by adding a circle of 32 faces and slowly mold it into a shape that looks like a crown jewel. I then select the alternating faces and extrude them along the normals to form the teeth. Once I'm happy with the gear, I make a duplicate and position them at 90 degrees to each other so that they mesh nicely. Next, I start modeling the main control arm. I try to keep the shape simple but also interesting. I join the main control arm and the top crown gear so that they are one mesh and I leave the second gear as its own object. I then start building the base, which corresponds to the shorter side of this parallelogram-like structure that we're trying to build. It also happens to be the main structure that will eventually mount to the chassis of a vehicle. I then duplicate this base and snap it over to the other side of the main control arm. It's important to duplicate and align this well, because it ensures the pivot points are identical. This gives us a good clean swing that doesn't mess up the orientation of the gears. Finally, I model another control arm that links the two shorter arms together. Now, to rig all this up into something functional, let's add an armature. This first bone corresponds to the base and is the only bone in this armature that does not move. Next, I add another bone and align it horizontally along the first control arm. Duplicate and align it on the second control arm. I then add two smaller bones perpendicular to each of the first two. Finally, I add a driver bone which will act as the main controller. Next, I parent each mesh to its corresponding bone in the armature. This ties the mesh to the motion of the bone. I then add constraints that map the driver's motion in the x-axis to the long front arm's rotation on the z-axis. I add a similar rotational constraint on the front facing gear, shown in purple. Notice how the gears move as though they are synchronized. I carry on just like that and configure appropriate constraints for the rear arm and the short hub arm. I quickly model a mount on the front facing gear so that we can see the rotation better. This mount would ideally be what you mount your door on. You can add keyframes to the driver's position if you want to animate the door movement. And just like that, you have a fully articulated, fully functional dihedral synchrohelix door hinge that you can use in any of your 3D projects. The full 3D blend file for the hinge is available for download on my Gumroad.